Citibank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the San Francisco 49ers. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. They go to the former Saint, Mark Ingram. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second down, Ingram. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. When I watch plays like that, I give a lot of thanks that my DNA did not make me an offensive tackle because that is a very difficult job to hold your block against a really good defensive end and hang on to it so your runner can get to the edge and do it without holding. I don't know that that's really possible for very many people. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Returnable for Grant. The great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return, and the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Rivers. This taken in by Jakeem Grant. The completion good for three and it's second down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pre-game. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Rivers from the gun on third down. Good win, able to haul it in. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, 49ers. Marquise Goodwin with touchdown number eight on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Gold with the extra. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. 
They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Second and a yard, Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 45-yard line. Nice throw there by Jackson. You think about what a boost he gave Baltimore in the middle of last year. Led them to victories in six of their last seven games as a starter. Replacing Joe Flacco, who had the hip issue. That strong finish was good enough for the Ravens to capture their first AFC North crown since 2012. And now Jackson's a known commodity. He's the unquestioned starter and with increased expectations and pressure on the former Heisman Trophy winner. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. D Ford, able to drop him for a loss of a couple. This offense line has struggled, in fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game, just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly, it's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Here's Jackson. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Anthony Averett picks it. Through an opening, and there he goes. The 20. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. What you just saw there, first round talent, second year, even more success. A pick six for a touchdown. A great play. Sophomore season is big for them. They really start to expand the playbook for them even more. Sometimes they dumb it down a little bit to make them comfortable year one. By year two, they should have all the nuances, and now they've adjusted to the speed of NFL play as well. Showed right there. And a nice job there as he gets this one up, just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script play. There goes Mark Ingram, the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the San Fran 20. A big effort that time out of Ingram, and even 50 yards. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. To throw is Jackson. That's complete, right around the eight. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll look to run with Ingram, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. And that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second and goal, Jackson flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Seth Roberts, his sixth touchdown of the season, as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to seven. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Play fake, Rivers. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Here we go on fourth down. And some room to run now. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they're going to come up empty here on fourth down. And the aggressive play call simply does not work out. You're on your own side of the field here, punt it, right? Yeah, I would agree with that. There's a time for analytics and a time for being aggressive, but not with this field position. There's also a time for good old football 101 sets. <laughs> yeah. Punt it away, let your defense take over with better field position. They'll run with England here to begin the drive. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. We got four. We got four. It's a give to the right. Ingram. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and one at the outset of this drive. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here comes Grant on the return. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead, you've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. 
He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. On second and nine, Jackson, they go screen. This is Ingram. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Robert Kimdichi. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Jackson. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Anthony Averett picks it. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. That was shades of Tennessee volunteer football back in the 80s with Charles Davis coming up from the secondary to make the tackle for a loss. You mean my teammates doing that, right? Because they would tell you, my coach would say, where is that tape? I want to see that. But how about the complete package there? Not just playing the pass, but being a willing tackler and making a really nice play. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. CD, you know there were quite a few Bears fans back in January saying, why didn't we hold on to that Robbie Gold guy? Well, it's a legitimate question. 33 of 34 for San Francisco 2018. The crazy stat of the year, he missed more extra points, too, than he did field goals, one, in the 2018 season. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United? And no, not, not quite of that <laughs> level and not of that age. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, his third touchdown now on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Justin Tucker now to kick it away following the touch taken at the three. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Marlon Humphrey on the tackle. 
two minutes remaining in this first half of football. I will remind you, coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They go play action. Rivers. And nowhere to get away. Rivers is dropped. Domada Pecco racks up the sack. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And yeah, just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. Check 99. Check 99. Hatchet. Hatchet. On third down, Rivers. They'll roll him out right. And the pressure gets to him again. Purnell McPhee in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Because yeah, they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. This is Ingram on first and ten. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Baltimore was the most run-heavy team in the league last year after Lamar Jackson took over as a starter. And you think about Mark Ingram. He goes from a situation where he was sharing time with Kamara in New Orleans. Now he figures to be the top guy in the Baltimore backfield. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Bill 180! 180! On first down, Grant. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Check, 380, 380. Go, go, they'll try to run with Breda. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breda. In the final seconds of the first half, and the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded at the two. Oh, a little 360. Oh, <laughs> and not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Here we go. Hey, 
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's Grant. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Rivers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. To throw again, Rivers. They'll set up a screen for Breida. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Well, that second down completion, something of a disaster, and now they're left with third and long. 36, 36 to Mike. Exit. We are now. Mike, 36. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. He's going to fire one deep, middle of Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson, and he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Ingram. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising, but they wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. Second and goal from the one. Let's go, D. Check 13. Check 13. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. They'll try and run. Ingram. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Tucker named the league's all-pro kicker for the third time in 2018. Go ahead and admit it. The only time that you get excited about Justin Tucker kicking is when he actually misses. It's and excited is not the right word. Surprise is more what we're talking about. 90.1% coming into 2019. He's incredible.
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Working out of the gun, Rivers. That'll be complete to Breda. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Off the play fake here, Rivers. Deep ball for Goodwin. This is caught, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Sanford. Catches two touchdowns here so far. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. We're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. From the 41, Jackson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 46. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. On third down, it's Grant. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now on second and 13, Rivers. 
Man open, it's Goodwin. Space to run past the 20. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On second down now, it's Coleman. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brandon, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. On third down, a run from Burrito. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Gold is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure, now yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! At their own 26 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. It's caught by Roberts. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. A big pickup of 38. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Jackson now. Being chased out left. And an alley to run. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. This will be caught by Brown. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Jackson. That is caught at the seven. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Here's Jackson to throw, and this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Marquise Brown, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Ravens cut into that lead. Tucker with the extra point. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
Fielded about a yard deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Let's go, D. Let's go. Let's get this. Going to try to jet sweep with Nelson. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. This is Breda. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the back side. They didn't allow any leakage, any, anybody could run him down from the back side. Right there at the kids' table. Okay, so, so front side guys, good. Back side guys, man. that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable game. Brings up second and nine at the 37 yard line. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. On second down, it's Coleman. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, 49ers. Tevin Coleman. 